Morning, everybody. Uh, we're now joined by Todd Barry, the head coach of ULM. If you have a question for Coach Barry, please dial star one on your phone at this time. Coach, while we're in for questions, to get in the queue, would you mind starting us off with a opening statement? Sure. Um, you know, we're adjusting, obviously, to life without Colton Browning, um, which is uh, a little bit unique for us since we've uh, had him for quite some time. The um, I thought Bradley Brown, uh, the quarterback that came in for Colton uh, this last week, really played pretty well, and I think he's getting healthier each and every week, which is great for us. Uh, and then, obviously, uh, Jairus Edwards and Centarius Donald, uh, both our running backs being back who were injured early in the season. Uh, that uh, allows for a, a maybe a little bit easier transition, um, and we're, we're, we're relatively healthy right now other than Jerron Hamm. Uh, so uh, things are, you know, we're, we're moving forward. Thank you, Coach. And as a reminder, our members of the media, it is a star one to ask questions. Uh, Coach, you know, obviously uh, coming off, a, uh, you know, able to have Saturday off after that Thursday home game. Uh, could you talk a little bit about, you know, your prep so far for uh, Texas State and what you've seen from them? Well, Texas State, uh, they're a very, very well-coached football team. Uh, schematically, they're going to challenge you on both sides. Uh, the extra week, I think, is going to – or not the extra week, but the extra couple days – Really helps, I think, with Braley. Uh, Braley, uh, again, our, our quarterback is starting for us now. He missed so much of preseason. He missed about three weeks with an injury. And uh, for him, that short week this last week in terms of starting, he was still you know, trying to get some timing down with the receivers and so on. This gives us a little bit more time to kind of get back into some things uh, because he's had a little bit more time to work with these receivers now. Thank you, Coach. Our first questions come from uh, Tabby Sunday with the Monroe New Star. Please go ahead, Tabby. Hi, Coach. Good morning. Hi, Tabby. I was just wondering, with a couple of days to maybe get their legs back under them, maybe go home for a day, get a home-cooked meal or so, which happens Saturday off, if um, you saw maybe just a little bit of a difference in Sunday's practice of, okay, now we got a little bit of a rest, and now we can sit here and shift our focus to the second half of the season. Yeah, I mean, I think we practiced uh, better last week, and I, I think that carried over, whether it be the you know the day off. Uh, I think certainly there's uh, when you've gone through that you know that early grind, uh, and, and many teams have done this obviously without any buys early on, and then obviously that quick turnaround on Thursday and play the first six games that quickly. I, I think that that uh, that little break day in there, uh, you know, is obviously beneficial. We had a good practice yesterday and. Uh, today, obviously, is their day off, and, and so hopefully that will recharge us for Tuesday. And I was looking at some of the depth chart changes this week. Uh, there are a few. The one that jumped out the most is the Trey Caldwell getting that start, uh, his first start at cornerback. Just take me a little bit through some of the shuffles there on defense and just y'all's uh, decision to, to go with that. Well, I think that, you know, there's there's constant competition. We've been playing four corners throughout the course of the season. And uh, Trey played better than Justin Bacchus did this last week. Justin had uh, some struggles there with some, a couple of mental things, and, and Trey played a little bit better, and we're always going to allow that competition to kind of play itself out. Yeah, absolutely. But seeing that, you have uh, your two older corners on one side of the field and then the two younger guys on the other, um, is that just sort of maybe balancing out the speed between Rob Donovan and, and Trey being some pretty swift guys? Well, what we've done is, uh, you know, we've been able to flip flop all those corners over a period of time, and it's just uh, with, you know, with six games underneath our belt, I think now you're kind of looking at, um, you know, our corners play right and left corner about who's more comfortable playing at either side, and I think just over a period of time and a number of repetitions, you start kind of feeling guys and we're feeling guys out a little bit more because of just all the repetitions that you've had, and we just kind of feel a little bit stronger about, uh, you know, these guys feeling more comfortable at right, and it doesn't mean that they can't flip, but and this other group feeling more comfortable at the left side. All right. Thanks, Coach. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Tabby. And thank you, Coach. That's all the questions we have for you today. We do appreciate your time. Thank you.